boys and girls. We are going to be doing some math today. Today is April 1st. We're going to be doing our math. You're going to need your whiteboard, your marker, your math paper, page 93 and 94, and a pencil. Now, parents, some of you may have already done this paper because that was my very first day of filming. And for some reason, probably because I wasn't wearing my glasses, I already did this paper. So if your child does not have this paper, they already finished the paper, it's like not a big deal. You can go through the lesson with me and practice, and then they can get out their purple journal, their, their math book, or their um, or get their whiteboard and write 1 to 100 by 1s, 1 to 100 by 10s, 1 to 100 by 5s to get some math practice in. Or they could, you could empty out your purse or your change and have them separate pennies, nickels, and dimes and count them up, okay? So, sorry about that. For the rest of you, we're going to go ahead and practice our, our um, number words. So, you're going to go ahead and get that whiteboard out. Let's go ahead and sing a math song before we start. Are you ready? show you what I'm talking about. So let me see. Let me pick orange to start with. Make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to write a number right here. You guys are going to read that number. Whoop. What does that say, boys and girls? It says two. T-W-O, two. So we're going to make two lines. I'm going to do my pattern a line, line, and then I'm going to do a different shape, maybe like a diamond. So my pattern is going to be mine, mine, diamond, mine, mine, 
diamond. Think of a pattern in your head. It doesn't have to match my pattern. It could be A, B, A, B, or it could be A, B, C, A, B, C. It's up to you. Pick the pattern in your head. You might want to write the pattern down. My pattern is going to be A, A, B, A, A, B, okay? So now I, but I only drew two lines. I can't finish my pattern. So now I'm going to go ahead and write a different one. Let's see, let me erase just this. And I'm going to write a new word. Let's put the different colors. It's a little easier to see. How about the number All right, boys and girls, what does that number word say? It says six. Good job, Lily. I knew you could do it. So we're going to go ahead and add six to our pattern. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my diamond because my pattern is A, A, B. So I'm going to just do this brown so it's not confusing. I, I colored over it because the orange was a little light. So now we have line, line, diamond. So I have to draw six more. Are you ready? Line, line, diamond. Let's see how many I drew. One, two, three, four. Okay, I gotta draw two more. One, two. So we're gonna continue on. So our pattern's gonna get longer and longer. It's gonna make you think, okay? All right, let me go ahead and erase six. Remember, if I'm going too fast, then you're gonna go ahead and just push pause. That's okay. All right, let's write a new word. How about this one? Starts with the pfft. All right, here we go. What does that say, boys and girls? Does it say five? It could say five because it has a pfft sound. But look, boys and girls, I need. Mm -mm. What other number word says pfft? Did you say four? Kiss your brains. Good job, four it is. So now we're going to do four more. So I'm going to start with my diamond. And I'm going to go diamond because that continues my pattern. Diamond, line, line, diamond. Now remember, your pattern is going to be different or it could be different and that's okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Good job. How's your snake looking? Isn't it looking pretty cool? All right, here we go. I'm going to erase that. And we're going to do another number. This is going to be really hard. Are you ready? O N E. All right, boys and girls, what number word is that? It's the number one. Good job. One. Go ahead and just do one part of your pattern. All right. All right, let me see. Hmm, did your snakes are turning out good? Let's do, this is the hardest one because it breaks all of our phonic rules. All right, are you guys remembering this word? You can't sound it out, it's a sight word. All right, E-I-G-H-T is the number one. What do you guys think? Did you say seven? Wah, wah. It's the number eight. Eight. So we're going to draw eight more. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. We're getting close to the end, aren't I? Five, six, seven. Oops, this is going to be a big diamond right here. And eight. Okay, good job. I'm getting close to the end of mine. If you already got to the end, it's okay. You could just read the number words and that's fine. All right, let me see. How about this one? T-H-R says what? Thur. E. Three. Three. Did you say three? You are right. Three. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three. Ooh, I'm, oh, I'm so close to the end. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Let's do this many. Oh, 
what number is Z E R? Oh, that's a funny O. What number is that? Zero. Good job, boys and girls. So now what you're going to do is you're finished with your snake. If your snake is not, you can have mommy and daddy add a couple of those number words in. We're going to erase that. And now, boys and girls, if you want to, you can color in your snake. I know that most of you only have a black, a black, um, dry erase marker, but it might be kind of fun, mom and dad, to pick up some colored markers for their boards so they can, so they can add a little bit of art to their whiteboards. And they just like changing colors too. All right, so there is my snake with my pattern. How did I do? Did I do a good job? I bet you guys did a great job too. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put aside our snake. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that, say bye snake. And we're gonna get out our number paper that looks like this. Now again, some of you guys have already done this and it's okay if it's completed. That's when you can go ahead and count change from mom's purse or dad's pockets or, or do your purple math book. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our name up here and I will read the directions. Mom and dad, they can't have any help on this one because this one gets a test. That means boys and girls, do not borrow your neighbor's brain. You're smart, you guys can do this. Are you ready? Number one says match. So you're gonna read the number word and draw a line to the right number, okay? Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause me. Number two, write how many cents. This is a dime. Think about what a dime is worth. You're gonna count by that and write how much money's in your pocket. This one's a penny. Think about what a penny's worth. Write that much in the pocket. On number three, you're going to add. You guys are really good at adding two plus two and you're gonna put the sum down below. And on number four, you're gonna say what time is it? These are all times by o'clock. We've been practicing a lot by 30, but remember when the hour hand is on the number and the minute hand is on the 12, we say o'clock and we put the zero, zero behind. All right, so go ahead, do this work. Remember, if something's hard for you, it's okay. You can't ask mom and dad. It's okay if it's hard because that means your brain is growing. It tells mommy and it tells me what we need to practice with, okay? Go ahead and do that work. When you're finished, boys and girls, you are going to do the other side of your paper that looks like this. On this one, it says, fun with numbers, circle the one that comes next. Hey, that's just like the pattern that we did on the snake. So you go, jump, run, run, jump, run, shh. Koala, panda, black bear, koala, panda, Drum, drum, chime, drum, drum. Good job, boys and girls. Give yourself a firework. Ah, and a grand finale. Great job. Now it's time, boys and girls, for you to stretch, go outside and play. If the weather's nice, have yourself a little snack. See you at story time. Bye.